everybody um so welcome to my channel um thank you guys for viewing this video um this video is actually going to be no communication um so this is for if obviously you are in no communication with someone and you're kind of curious as to what's going on or you know how are they feeling um that kind of thing so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload a new video. Um, for my next one, I do plan on doing a long distance reading because I know you guys have been wanting that. So I will do that, hopefully, if I remember. But yeah, so I did four different piles for this reading. Pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Um, again, I'll just talk quickly for those of you who obviously uh, just came across my channel. I'm doing this deck giveaway. It's the Deviant Moon Tarot. It's a very beautiful. I have this deck myself, so I'm giving away another one to one of you guys. And how to enter will be in the comments along with the timestamps. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hi, pile one. So, no communication. What's going on with this person? Again, I'll try and read this from both perspective, male and female. So, first off, I want to point out that uh, this person definitely is going through some obstacles right now. Um, unfortunately, we all go through these, but yeah, it seems right now like they're going through some kind of obstacle. But this is kind of cool. So, whether it's a man or a woman, this person is um, trying with this is Tiger Lily, Tiger Nautilus. So this person's actually trying to become more in touch with their feminine side or learn more, um, embrace it, kind of like maybe talk to their family, um, just get just kind of mm, like have some of the feminine energy rub off on them. That sort of thing because this card basically is about feminine energy and kind of harnessing that and that type of thing so I do feel as though whoever this is um, this is what they're like working on right now so it could also obviously represents to me like a sensitive kind of side um, we do have two people here so if you're a male watching this or a woman watching this is two people we have a um, but this actually might not even be a person for some um this is the princess of pentacles so uh taurus virgo capricorn and we have the king of wands so for some of you this is probably you if you are a earth sign then i do f then yes um you are on their mind for sure if there's no communication um what's going on with this person i feel we have the eight of pentacles so this is obvious to me that this person is kind of working really hard right now and focusing on a craft that they do well in, that they um, excel in. And then the King of Wands, this person has a very uh, passionate demeanor about them for sure. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they have this very passionate demeanor. Uh, I do see this person definitely as a go-getter. Um... But the obstacles, too, could have a lot to do with either this person or the work that they're doing. Um, again, so, yeah, this person is very, very work-oriented right now. And also, you might notice, um, or obviously, if you can't even see from afar, it seems like if they do have some kind of, um, like, maybe they actually like to paint or, you know... They're just, it's, I feel as though they're kind of using it as a distraction, but it's something that is keeping their minds busy and their thoughts busy. And then I asked um, how they feel about you, um, particularly, and we have temperance, so that's a good sign. Um, for those of you who aren't in communication with this person, it's probably, the connection obviously is probably really imbalanced, maybe things didn't end uh, maybe things didn't end on good terms because, you know, when the te when temperance comes out, um, this is all about, you know, wanting balance, as you guys might know. So, you know, when this person thinks of you, I feel they do think, like, I wish there was some way I could balance this. 
um, something like that. Like they just really want to balance. And then I want to see what else I can get for the feminine card because that's interesting. Yeah, so we have the feminine power is a radiance that shines from women and girls who are secretly anchored within their bodies and souls. Full of tenderless love, beauty, and grace. Not a woman, not a problem. Look for opportunities to get closer to a woman in your life. Let, um, be it your mother, sister, lover, or wife. Try looking through her eyes to help you get in touch with your feminine side. Yeah, so this person's basically like, um, maybe too for some of them, they're needing to be this way. They're needing to be more compassionate towards others. And maybe that's um, kind of related to the this obstacle that they have to overcome. I do, yeah, now that I'm thinking, I feel that has to do with it. For some others, I do feel as though, um, since I said it at the beginning, that they are actually working on it, and they are probably talking to family members and other females, um, just kind of trying to grasp it and understand it better. Because um, this is, you know, especially if it's the King of Wands, this is a lot of masculine energy. So, yeah, that really doesn't surprise me that they would need to be working on this. But, yeah, as for, like, what's going on, that's kind of what's going on with them. This is what's going on with them internally right here. And then between you both um, as a whole, this person just really wants balance with you for sure. Okay, guys, so that was your reading, and I hope it resonated. Hi, Pile 2. Um, so... What's this person up to? What's going on with you two since there's no communication? Um, what's going on in their life? Etc. Okay. So we have feathers. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Gonna go off the limb and it could say this is kind of... This, this could be this person. I feel... Um... I think this isn't for them. I think this is for you. And I think this points towards them. Maybe they are undependable. So we have a certain slant of light. This person definitely uh, is going through a lot of darkness right now. They're definitely in a dark time. Uh, the thing is, is it would actually be very easy for them to get out of this. But they are probably very stubborn. And they don't. Um, they don't realize that maybe something that they're trying to decide on, maybe they don't realize that they're not right because obviously a lot of people do that. But I feel this person is especially that way. I feel they pretend that they don't know the answer, but they do know the answer. They're just very stubborn individuals. Um, what's going on with them right now? We have the world. Um, I feel this person right now could be actually, I feel this definitely points to travel. They could be traveling right now. Or for some of you, this could be someone obviously, um, long distance wise, but, um, this person could be traveling, um, going places with the world card. And then we have the six of pentacles, so... This person might be doing some giving and receiving probably um, to kind of make themselves feel better uh, because of what's going on. Because I feel as though something, something with them isn't balanced because we also have the two pentacles. Um, this could be an earth sign. But I do feel as though this person isn't really balanced right now. And it could be financially. I don't know. I don't think it's financially actually because we do have the six of pentacles which is about... Giving and receiving, um, helping people out, that type of thing. So they're helping others, but them themselves are not balanced. At, um, they're kind of having trouble with that right now. And it, it does go with this card because, you know, this is like, obviously, she's not balanced. Um, she isn't sure how to get out of it, even though it's right in front of her. She does know the answer, but she thinks she doesn't. But yeah, Two of Pentacles, this person is going through some imbalances right now in their life for sure. Um, so then I asked how they're feeling about you with the no communication. We have the Nine Ones and the Emperor. This combination tells me this person could definitely be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be. 
Um, but what I'm getting is that they're very, very defensive, very defensive people. They are. I can see that. And it's funny because with the slant of light, it so goes with these cards. This person is very protective of themselves. I feel they're very selfish, um, to be honest with you. But when it comes to you, they feel like they have to have their guards up. Um, so, um, yeah, kind of like they feel like they have to have their guard up against you. Um, as well with the emperor, he's very authoritative. Um, so maybe uh, if, you know, you were to confront him, he would kind of put this hard exterior on him. Or if it's a woman, same thing. She would put this hard exterior on her and just, yeah, Nine of Wands, this person's definitely uh, feeling very defensive about you. Um, yeah, because the Emperor also isn't really about feelings, feelings. Ugh, needless to say, do they have feelings for you? Probably, but it's mostly just talking about, you know, how they feel right now during the snow communication and again i think that's why the feather card came out because i feel this person is the one that's undependable and insincere i feel it is this person because although we have the giving and receiving which could just be you know money wise um maybe they're just helping family out or someone's helping them out i don't know but and the traveling this person is very imbalanced right now and they are going through some dark times. And I feel as though it's going to be until they realize them themselves are the problem. I feel they don't see that. And like I said again with this combination, they definitely don't see that. It's, it, <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of what's going on with your person right now with no communication. Um, again, how they're feeling, they're just feeling very defensive and, you know, very masculine. Like, like yeah, that's how they're feeling. Okay, guys? So... Um, this was pile two, and I'll see you later. Hi, pile three. So, no communication. What's going on between this connection between you guys? So, this is a nice card. We have door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Um, definitely, I see opportunities here for this person. It could also be relating to you as well. <laughs> so, this is funny. This is so cute. I like this card. Naughty Mermaid. Alright, so I can already tell this person is someone who um, isn't themselves. Most of the time I feel they put on a fake mask. Um, I feel they try to blend in with the crowd. Um, they try to be like other people um, if they're surrounded by friends. Alright, let me put in this perspective. Say if there's three boys and a girl and two of the boys are making fun of the girl. One of the boys really doesn't want to make fun of the girl, but he does it anyway because his other two friends are doing it. So if he doesn't do it, he looks like a loser. That's this person. In a nutshell. Um, Ten of Pentacles. This person's very focused on money right now. It seems like they could be doing really well. Um, they could be like saving up right now or just kind of, yeah, like stacking it. <laughs> That's how I feel because like, look, it's kind of like stacked. Yeah, so I do feel like money is kind of their priority right now, focusing on money. And then Ace of Wands, it seems like they might have found something that they like to do recently. Like maybe they found something they're really passionate about recently and, you know, it's like they're just starting out with doing this. I can kind of figure out what that is. So, pile three, what is this person? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so wow. I'm glad I pulled a clarifier. Hold on. So we have Ace of Wands and we have Six of Swords. This person is taking action right but to leave something mentally behind um we have six of swords and then we have the four of swords so this person also um with the four of swords it reminds me of like resting but kind of like sadness too it does remind me of like sadness and kind of feeling alone even though 
you're so, like you could be in a big in a room of full of people and you still feel alone um yeah but then yeah ace of wands six of swords they're seems like they're tr they're starting to like mentally leave something behind um yeah let me get one more card it's like i get so curious about what it is <laughs> okay This is so weird. Oh, we have six of wands. So what are they trying to leave behind? This makes sense though. I feel like they're trying to leave behind uh, this like, like you know how I describe this? When the six of wands comes out, it talks about being the center of attention and being on your high horse and that sort of thing. I do feel as though this person's kind of trying to back away from that. So that's good. At least it does seem to me like they might be working on this because to be honest, this combination of cards does lead me to believe that they're taking action, right? But they're mentally turning away probably with the six ones from being or wanting to be the center of attention. And that has a lot to do with ego. And yeah, that also explains the four swords because it's talking about resting the mind, contemplating. So then how do they feel about you? Um, yeah, they, this could be a, also a water sign, but it could be any sign we have. Uh, so they do have, they still have romantic feelings towards you without a doubt. They do. Um, this person definitely, like, as you can see the cup, it's like a cup of emotions. I do feel as though this person does have emotions for you. And then the fool that obviously just makes me believe that. They also would like a new beginning with you. Um, I do feel as though that, you know, that is the case here. Yeah. But then, yeah, like I said, with the Knight of Cups and the Fool together, it makes me obviously think of like a beginning of a romance. Or since this is someone you've already known because it's no communication, a beginning of, a, you know, like a new chance, that kind of thing. Especially with this combination, if you, you know, if you really just don't know them and there really isn't no communication, then yeah, this, this is how they're feeling. So this is their feelings for you. But again, I, this is kind of like very ego filled. This person does have ego, but they also do have opportunities that are waiting for them. And this could have a lot to do with um, monetarily because they seem very kind of driven when it comes to money. So Okay, guys, so that was pile three. I hope that resonated. Hi, pile four. So, no communication. For this person, they're going through some unsettling times. And, excuse me, they definitely need to plan ahead a lot, it seems like. Because, yeah, this person is definitely going through... <laughs> it's funny when I when I laid the card uh, the cards out the first thing that came to my mind for some reason I was like e e this person's going through the ringer <laughs> like but so we have shipwreck siren so this represents testing someone's willpower and I feel as though this person could actually have some like bad intent like I don't want to say bad but I feel as though they test people. Um, I feel as though this person, it, this to me, this is kind of like a low vibration, but yeah, this person's kind of like, what they do is they test people. Um, I feel they could try and control emotions as well. For some reason, I get that with the waves in the back. Uh, I feel as though she's trying to, um, literally wreck the ship. <laughs> um, let me see what else I can get for her. So, shipwreck siren. Yeah, it even says here, she tests the will of those she sees, seeks, and takes advantage of the weak and undisciplined. So this person, probably, the reason why they're feeling like this is because they, they probably grew up like that, and that's why they feel this way towards other people, but I feel as though this person needs to definitely work on that. And they might be doing that because um, right next to her, we have death. So, what is this person doing right now? They are literally going through some kind of transformation with themselves. I feel as though they are trying, definitely. Um, 
Four of Cups. Um, Four of Cups generally to me means boredom. They could be kind of bored right now. Like even though I feel as though they are trying to transform. But in general they could just be bored. Could be regarding their emotions. Maybe they're just bored right now. <laughs> it seems like maybe in their free time it's just like that. Two of Wands also shows me that they're kind of envisioning something. Like they like they have a plan. They have a plan and they kind of see it. And again, they want to transform. But it's hard for this person. For some reason, I get it's really hard for them. And again, like with the four of cups coming up next to death, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a a contradiction because you're bored and you're going through a transformation so i feel as though this person's very conflicted they're definitely going through some some sort of transformation but they're they're bored probably emotionally since it's cups so then yeah then we have two wands and as you notice too it's like a road and this road is not straight and I noticed that about this particular deck. This road's not straight. And that also, to me, goes with this card because I feel as though this person's planning ahead or, you know, the road they're on right now goes with this because they're kind of having unsettling times, like a bump in the road, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't have any remorse for them, though, and I'll tell you why. It's <laughs> Like how, okay, how they're feeling for you. Okay, they are definitely passionate about you. They definitely find you attractive with the Eight of Wands. However, we have the Seven of Swords. So look at her, wicked deceitful. She got a sword behind her back. Um, I don't know what she's doing right now. I don't know. Caught him. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, they are very passionate about you, but... It seems like they want to come forward, but if they do, they're not going to be completely truthful about something. Like, they're, like, if they, like, if they were to come forward to you, which they want to do, this is how they, again, this is how they're feeling about you. Sorry, oh my god, I just, like, knocked over. <laughs> no, but, so, they, ugh, they are very passionate, you know, about you. They so want to come forward towards you, but... I don't know. I would just say that if they do end up doing it, that not to not to completely trust them or ask them if there's something they want to tell you. Because again, I feel as though there could be some deception or sneakiness. So yeah. So that's what's going on, guys. I'll see you next time.